As your friendly neighborhood carpet cleaning expert, let's talk about the all new Shark Stain Striker because we're gonna be unboxing it, we're gonna run some spot tests with it, and we're gonna showcase and explain why you might wanna consider or not consider this for your next carpet and upholstery spot cleaner. And it comes with a 12 foot cord, a 4.3 foot hose, 450 watt power motor, and it weighs just 8.51 pounds, making it one of the lightest spot cleaners you can get on the market, if not the lightest in its class. So this is everything you get out of the box. It's pretty much coming all assembled. You're getting two stain strikers tools. They are gonna be identical in terms of their name, but they're gonna be different in terms of their shape. One is going to be the spot pet tool and the other one is going to be the more conventional stain striking tool. This is going to be the blue tank that you're going to be adding in your oxy multiplier. This is not going to be diluting. And on the separate tank here, this is where you're adding in the water and the dilutive detergent or soap, whichever you're using to clean your carpets. So the secret of the Shark Stain Striker is that it can make your carpets look brand new using its dual activated formula that penetrates deep into the fibers. So the powerful suction is going to lift out the dirt and grime. However, it doesn't go too deep because it doesn't come with the power spray that you and this is the dirty water tank the handle is actually also going to be the lever to open it up so you can lock it using the handle and you can open it using the handle it does make easy work of popping it open and the seals here are very good giving you a waterproof seal so that you're not going to have any leaks in case you drop the dirty water tank on the floor the Shark Chain Striker is only coming with one button on the unit and it's going to be coming with two ports that you're going to want to clean on opposite sides. You can see where the dirty water and the clean water are going in and out and that is going to be the power button. You only got to press it once. There is no other power settings. This is actually going to be the handle. That's the trigger and on top. You either can use it with the plastic hose cleaning tool, as you see here. All you need to do is place it on top and activate the trigger, and then it's going to clean the hose on its own. It's just like a self-closing loop system. It's coming with a hard brush built inside of the handle so that even if you don't have any of the attachments, you can still use the unit. You don't need the attachments necessarily. Now, returning and rewinding and placing back the hose as well as the handle is relatively simple. It's the same as the Bissell Little Green and the Hoover Clean Slate. Now let's take a closer look at the attachments. This is gonna be the larger attachment on the seven inch side. It's gonna be similar to a two-in-one -one pet stain tool from Bissell. Just open up the tank and that's gonna be the dirty water reservoir. This is where the filter is gonna be. You can open that up and catch any debris inside. This is mainly used for smaller stains and this is gonna be the normal two-in-one pet brush and you can change the orientation of the brushes from silicon to nylon just by flipping out the handle and both are going to be coming with easy to remove pop off plastic covers for easy cleanup. Now that you know all of the features of the stain striker well let's talk about what it can do. We're going to do a test with it and that test is going to talk about the build quality, the ease of use, the value, effectiveness and long term cost otherwise known as bevel. And the strain checker test is going to be used on dried ketchup, OJ, wine, food, chocolate milk, hot sauce, and pasta sauce that we let dry on this carpet for about a week. And let's take a look at the overall performance. Now, this is the carpet expert, and we're going to use this as a baseline so that you can see the overall performance if I'm using something as powerful as a traditional upright carpet cleaner, especially one that Shark says has the most power out of any carpet cleaner currently on the market. I would rate the Shark Stain Striker a solid 8 out of 10, and that's because in order to get that lightweight, they are using a lot of plastic. And even though all the plastics are well molded together, you know that plastic on plastic could get damaged or scratched quickly over time. For ease of use, we're giving it a solid eight and a half out of 10. And that's because it's so lightweight at 8.51 pounds and it makes it more maneuverable. So it's easy to take around up the stairs, around your furniture and tight spaces. It has a variety of tools that can easily be attached and detached, but there's no place to store them unlike on your carpet expert. And the controls are so simple because there's only one button that you have to press in order to turn it on. Regarding value, the Shark Stain Striker costs $139.99 at the time of this video, but I do expect these prices to go down once the Shark goes on sale. You do do get a lot for your money, including the suction power when you're buying it, and it's similar price to the Bissell carpet cleaners and the Hoover carpet cleaners. 
in terms of overall effectiveness, it is not as powerful as the Upright Carpet Expert, and it is not going to beat the Bissell Little Green Pro or the Spot Clean Pro. But on its own, considering the weight, it is punching way outside of its class. It is a powerful little spot cleaner, and you might have to use it two or three times on a deeper set stain, but it is able to get a lot of the stains out, including wine, coffee, and OJ. Next up, let's talk about overall effectiveness. In order for this to be very effective, you have to use a lot of solution. And that's because of how Shark designed the brushes. Because on these attachments, the spray is all the way on the back while the brushes are all the way in the front. So you're gonna be really using a lot of spray or you have to keep close tabs on how much of the solution you're using. Because I find that I am getting the best results using so much of the oxy multiplier that it becomes less cost effective for me. So finally, that brings us to long-term costs. How much does it cost to operate the stain striker in the long run? Well, I think that overall electricity cost is gonna be reasonably low, but the amount of formula you're gonna go through here because of the two tank system is gonna be quite high. Even though it comes with great amount of suction power, that does not necessarily translate to better performance. And that's because of how the spray nozzle works. So the long-term costs, I have to use more formula, formula, is gonna be more expensive, especially if I'm getting the Shark OEM formula, because those little bottles cost somewhere between $11 and up. It's not gonna be that I can just pick up a gallon tank at my local Costco and that's gonna get everything out of the floor. So ultimately, what is our verdict on the Shark PX201 Stain Striker? It is a solid option if you're looking for a portable carpet and upholstery cleaner that has a lot of suction. The onboard tools are easy to use and it does provide good value for the price. Where you will get caught up in is that you will spend more money on solution on the Shark than on competing carpet cleaners. And it is less powerful, much less powerful than the Shark EX201, which is the carpet expert with the Stain Striker built in. It doesn't mean that the Stain Striker is more powerful on the Carpet Expert. It's just that the Carpet Expert on its own is so much more powerful than the Stain Striker. So you have to pick which one is best for your home. And if you want a larger tank, which you might, you are gonna be opting for the Bissell Little Green Pro or the Spot Clean Pro because they're gonna be coming with double the tank capacity, even though they might be closer to double the weight. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. This is the Shark Stain Striker. I like it. Now, is it going to be enough for you? You got to decide for yourself. I'll catch you next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and hit that like or subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.